So hi everybody, my name is Shanal Basnaika. I'm the CEO of the Australian Science Teachers Association. And um, I'm here today to talk to very interesting and important individuals who will be talking to you a little bit about um, the National School Science Safety Campaign. So I'd like to um, introduce you to Rosemary and Hans, who will uh, in turn introduce themselves. So Rose, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, uh, thanks, Shana. Um, so my, my name is uh, Rosemary Anderson. I am talking to you from Tasmania. Um, I am the president of the Australian Science Teachers Association, which is known as ASTA. It is a, fe a federation of the science teachers associations in the eight states and territories. Um, and we advocate for science education. And what we are doing today is one of them. We are advocating for safety in school science. Wonderful, thanks Rose. And Hans. Thank you all for joining in. I'm Professor Hans Bachor from the Australian Academy of Science. And uh, the topic today is safety in science and safety in science education. About the academy, we cover any aspects of science in Australia. And we are a group of about six, 700 selected scientists that work in all aspects that you can imagine. For us, education in science is very important and that starts early learning and it starts at schools. And doing science, hands-on is very important. So for example, I could take a garden light and a CD and I could build you an experiment. Now that would be intrinsically safe, but sometimes you use something bigger, some special materials, a laboratory, you have people helping you with that. And we want to make sure that you really enjoy doing that and do it safely. And what can people expect from the campaign? The point of the campaign is really to raise awareness of uh, school science safety. So this is to all um, principals, uh, teachers, lab technicians, everyone involved with uh, science education in schools. Hans, to you, why is school science safety important? I mean, safety is important for all of us. We actually live in a fairly safe world and we have a culture of behaving safely. And we, that applies to the school as well. Now, science you learn in a classroom out of a textbook from the teacher, but you also learn it by doing things. It's very important for all of us to understand how to do that in a way that nobody gets hurt and we all learn. And the more fun it is, the better the learning. As part of this campaign, what are the things that teachers, um, principals, heads of department can expect and where can they find information? So the campaign is going to run uh, for the rest of 2022 and we are launching it right now uh, at the beginning of February. There are going to be a lot of resources produced by both um, um, ASTA and the Academy of Science. So uh, we can find that in the ASTA website and at the uh, Academy of Science website, as well as existing resources like um, Science Assist. The Academy is working together with ASTA. In particularly, we have education programs. We have Science by Doing, which focuses on hands-on science, on activities in the lab. We have primary connection, which includes them, and we have resolve, which focuses on mathematics. So in all of these, but particularly in science by doing, we will have more and more resources appearing on our webpage and in the courses which are being delivered to the teachers. Why should um, you know, principals, heads of departments, you know, teachers and technicians in schools be school science safety leaders. So we all know um, that for us to be safe in school, it is a collective responsibility. And as principals in, of schools, they are ultimately responsible. Teachers in your classroom, science teachers and any other teacher who is carrying out science, you also have that responsibility to make sure that your students and yourselves and everyone around you is safe. 
the lab technicians in their preparations for a, a school uh, practicals, they also need to make sure that everything is safe. What we don't want is for us to stop doing practicals because we are scared of something going wrong, because we know that for our students to learn science, they have to learn by doing, and all we need to do is to make sure it's safe for them. Hans, did you have anything to add? Yes, I think, Rose, you made an excellent observation. The more we do, the better we learn. And science can be done safely. There's always a way, but you need to be observant. And if you ever have a question and say, you know, is this the best way of doing it? You ask. So when you do a science experiment, you watch, you think, and then you can do it. Um, any final words from the two of you? You know, I just want to say um, we knew before that it was important to our society and to our well-being, but the proof has never been more evident in the last couple of years. So we would like our students to be equipped, so we would like them to carry on doing science and learning everything they can do so that they can look after us. That's a great point you're making, Rose. Science also leads to safety. Just think about what we're doing in the moment with the pandemic. We have these beautiful tests. We can check who has it, who hasn't got it. That's brand new science. And so the more we understand science, we understand the world around us, the better it gets. And be confident. It can be done safely. You don't have to stop doing it. But if you have any questions, ask first.